up guys, Eric the Wolf here, and we're doing another unboxing. I've done a lot of gameplay lately because I really enjoyed editing it and doing it. I didn't really have that much stuff to review, and I figured uh, I've been doing reviews and stuff for a little bit more than a solid year, so I figured I guess you guys would enjoy uh, some gameplay. What I'm going to try to do is do gameplay every other week. If you have any other suggestions like you want to do gameplay, I want to try during this summer, I want to try to do two videos a week. One for gameplay, one for a review. I have a little bit of a, I have an unboxing somewhat of, and then a review because I have used this, so this is not like a, an unboxing. And next week I also have gameplay with this. The red dot scope, my friend just bought on Amazon. Nice good box it's a tactical holographic 2 green dot rifle sight scope it's a 1 by 32 it's just a red dot that's the precision the label pretty nice box nice and simple just like apple and then this this site in here would be bubble wrapped but since this is not the first time it's been unboxed it's not it is a really good looking sight. The only thing that problem with it is one of the screws right here that came with it. My friend says it's stripped. I think the screw was just a little too long and short. And it's just an iron sight for the top, so heck, you could take it off if you don't want it. It doesn't fall off or anything. But here's the little bolt. Uh, I'll get to the sight in a second. And then it comes with well, more info on the sight. That comes with a freaking instructions for the general one it's not the instruction is not the right instructions for this site it's the wrong one but it's probably just a gen general manual and then it comes with an allen key cleaning cloth we've had this site for about three weeks allen keys just to tighten some of these bolts and stuff this site does not come with batteries Buy the, when you buy this site on Amazon, buy the batteries on it. Right now, you would have a clear lens up here, but he did put, he cut a sunglasses lens and put it in here because he didn't want to get shot out. It's a chance of it, but who needs to chance it? If you guys do do that, do not use a, you can use, use safety glasses and don't use a sunglass because it's tinted, which inside doesn't matter really. It can't, it works fine, but once you get into the actual field, it's easy to see the dot, it's just the outside of it is hard to see, but you kind of don't want, you want to be able to see your surroundings. I have my gun up here to show you how it looks on a gun. It's got a really good texture to it. It's, uh, it's all metal. I like to put my sight way up in the front so I can hurry and zoom it, scope down into it. It's got a nice texture to it because it's all metal and then it's got a little rubber coated to it it's not just paint it's actually rubber coated and it's this for 30 bucks you would think that you, to get a rubber coated site you need at least 60 or more dollars boom there you go nice sight on a black ops viper m4 one more question for the comments you what do you like more non blowback or blowback but it, it it sights up perfectly I can put my head down really fast I, I've used iron sights for over two years I liked iron sights they were good since I just barely started using this I use it once in a while with my friend it is amazing I really I'm actually trying to get a couple so if I try I'm, and I'm also trying to get two two, three guns, so I have extra guns for my friends so they can go airsofting with me, and then whatever I feel like airsofting with. If there's five different, there's two different colors, so there's red and green, it has five different brightnesses, which is not really the brightness, it's the how big the dot is on the sight, like on when you look down it. It's really nice. My friend, he says, yeah, I always use the biggest one. I always run one because you could barely tell the difference. 
there you can see the dot so that's green on one there's two there's three four uh, five see so yeah, there is not really a big difference and then here check out the iron sights they're pretty good it's actually a little tiny white dot right there I'd paint it a little bigger and then here's it off again and now here going to red that's one let me check yeah that's one two Oh, you can see it on the camera. Change. The red one actually changes. And that's five. And this, just so you know, the camera makes it look a lot dim. Really dim. Compared to it. And this is how you change your brightnesses. It's got that. But it's got all these numbers to show you the brightnesses. Oh, you twist it off. These caps. I'll just pull one, sh take one off to show you. Oh, shoot. Uh, and it's got you have to take a screwdriver to put it in to adjust it so it actually stay in it'll stay focused into your zeroed yeah that's uh my friend's red dot scope I don't know the exact name of it it'll be on the title of the thing but it is a total suggest buy I'm actually pro thinking about picking myself up one like this just not this one like Comment on a couple things I said in the video if you watched all the way through the end, which you probably have if you're watching me say this right now. Uh, so like, comment, and uh, share with your friends. Say, hey, what do you think of this site? And then you can give them a link to my video or something. And uh, and then also subscribe. Then you get a watch my gameplay for with this and you get to watch all my videos and you'll get told when I when I do a video so that'll be sweet but I don't care if you do any of that heck go ahead and go dislike every single one of my videos I do not care I'm doing this for you guys biggest thing don't forget to airsoft go out there if you're shy you go ah.